Yo, what is up? Another video. Today we have a new video. Before we get before we start with a new video, um, tomorrow is my birthday on the 18th of August. Um, and yeah, so tomorrow I'm probably not really going to stream. I should upload tomorrow. Like, there's this whole plan in, in my mind how I wanted to go, but I might not stream tomorrow. I'm I'm not streaming today either. Um, but yeah, tomorrow is my birthday. You know, so big grown man stuff. And yeah, but for today's video. We have black YouTube has gotten even worse. And as you can see by this right here, ask your homeless pe people freaky questions. And people actually watch this. This is insane. Uh, let's see. My little sister, Brooklyn, got a BBL. Like, you, like, you can't take this seriously. My little sister got a BBL. <laughs> asking homeless people freaky questions. Right, little RT 20v1. Nah, this is, is crazy. Nah, nah. That little RT thing. People freaky questions. Little RT. This is crazy. First of all, how does the parent sign off on this? Second of all, how do these, how do these kids' parents sign off on this? This is weird. Like, this is actually weird. Everything about it is weird. Everything about it is weird. T20v1. This is actually getting out of hand. A few months ago, I dropped a video titled The Problem with Black YouTube. Yep. And in and that video, we watched I basically this. talked about how I feel like there's two types of black content creators. One kind cares about their content. Boy, really talked about you like Megamind, no shade. My, my fault, I'm sorry. How I feel like there's two types of black content creators. One kind cares about their content Corey. and what they actually put out on the internet, and the other kind basically just trend hops and spams the most horniest content possible. Casually, the what the heck is this? Are these thumbnails? Creators. One kind cares these about their content and what they actually put out on the, the one, internet, dude. and the other kind Hold basically on. just trend hops and spams the most horniest. Casually fashioning my crush. And mind you, the, they all have the same thumbnail with this on like the edges. They have the same font with the emojis in the background. Look at this. Is Loki a good thumbnail? This would catch me too, and I would probably I don't think I don't think I will watch it, but people will watch this stuff. But this is crazy. What? Is content oh possible? All the public interview in like twenty. If you're, <laughs> what? 20v1 spamming YouTubers. And that video has gotten a lot of mixed feedback, you know? Some people said that I was spitting in that video. A lot of people even gave me a lot of props for speaking up about this issue. And yeah. then some people thought that what I was saying was- It's like, the weirdest thing, no one speaks on it. Like, especially that stupid 750 cash app glitch, no one speaks about it. Bro, it's a scam. But they, but someone must, like some dudes or some people must be actually thinking it's real because their favorite you youtuber said it was real because they keep spamming it like they just spam it every time and then now this is new and worse like cash kicks or something like that now you play games for money that is like real but it will take you like a year to get like you know what i'm saying it'll take you a long time to get the it's kind money. of a, a, a little like, uncle some people were even saying that i wasn't the best spokesperson for this because i speak proper and i sound white even though i mean <laughs> I, i'm pretty sure last time i checked i'm black i don't know y'all tell me i guess i gotta Bla some black people are whitewashed so mm, there's some whitewashed black people it, it, and it's actually crazy like to see and like hear them it's like wow you don't look you don't sound black at all. sound black as well i don't know how a black person is supposed to sound but uh, nah like yeah that one i don't agree with like yeah you can sound white like come on like oh. comment section below this overall there BFFR, was a lot of mixed feedback with that video and in today's BFFR, video i just wanted to return to that topic of black youtube once again because i've been seeing some things and i'm not gonna lie it's low-key getting insane starting with these 20 v1s now these 20 v1 ones they were pretty popular like six seven months ago and they're still pretty popular yeah they today. still are I'm familiar with the 20 v1 they're popular if they get like a popular person like you know like this guy this is uh what's his name vaughn something like that and the uh laser dim it's it's probably if you get like actual popular people or just like instagram 
female. I mean, like, basically, it's one person versus 20 other people, and they just speed date each person each round. That's pretty much it. Now, like I said, these 20v1s are still popular till this day, and yeah. nothing's really changed with Facts. these, except for instead of using adults, they are now using children. Yeah, no, this is crazy. In the intro, yes, there was a creator out here who created a 20v1 with little RT, the 10 year old rapper. If that is not insane, I don't know what is. I genuinely don't. Instead of using Lil RT as a side character like that one guy did, he's now upgraded to a main character, and they got this man's speed. How do you find a other 10-year-old little girls to sign off on this? Like, how do, like, bro, I would never let my daughter do this, because it's what made, it's what be mainly uh, females, because he's, yeah. Like, I would never let my daughter, like, sign off and say, like, yeah, you, you do a quick little speed date. I don't know how much these parents got paid. They must be getting paid or something. There's no he way. Children. But yeah, that's like the only changes they've made with these 20v1s. Other than that, everything else is pretty much the same. Still scamming their fans with the cash app. Yeah, talk about it. Claiming that you're going to make $750. And we already know how that goes. Cash app is not giving you $750 for free. That just doesn't make sense. That's yeah. a terrible business move. They're still using the exact same intros as one another. And they're also still using the exact same. Yeah, they for sure have the same editor because like they're all like friends right this we know like they're all like they're all cool they use like the same person to edit their videos this is crazy they have the same pfp that is insane that's kind of crazy but yeah bro that's just how it goes same profile pictures as one another like there's literally zero creativity when it comes to these 20v1 tubers now one specific no there's some 20v i keep pausing my bit there's some interesting 20v1s like i saw like king said do like a 20v1 where it was like i don't think it was 20v1 it was like a find your match but there, there's some like ones that are kind of creative like with each round 20 one that i really want to talk about right now because i i feel like this is the elephant in the room is this little rt 20 v1 a few weeks ago i was scrolling on twitter just getting in my daily scroll and i see this poster 20 women versus little rt it's in atlanta and i also saw that reddit logo in the bottom right i don't know what reddit oh, has to do oh. with this but i just looked at it and i thought it was a troll but then about a week ago i was scrolling through twitter again <laughs> and i seen a clip about from this go, 20 v1 go. and when i tell you i was shocked hey hey what's your name Tating, Yo, this is face. so weird. <laughs> Okay, all right, Nick. Now, this video was made by a YouTuber by the name of Mike Adelaboo, who's pretty much another variant of like No Love Mar, Ryan with the Sauce, all those cornball 20v1 tubers. Dang, he called on him out. Just revolve around 20v1s. Like, if we look at his last 12 videos, the last one I watched from him was. Look at these millions. He's getting money. That video kind of bad, though. You can see that he did nothing else yeah. but 20v1s. Yeah, yeah, and before the 20v1s, this man was basically just doing the find your matches and putting yeah. his friends on freaky blind dates. Like, he was basically just doing this cornball content, pretty much. And just I guess 20v1s got super boring, so he just had to spice it up by adding children to the mix. You may be thinking, like, oh, Cam, you might be overreacting, you know? Maybe no. this 20v1 isn't that bad. No, it's exactly nah. what you think. This is a children's dating show. This man literally held a children's risen competition. This is not the tiktok riz party this is the youtube kids riz party None and bro i'm not watching this dude i'm not watching this dude i ain't finna watch little kids speed date it's like to me it's weird to even watch it but it has like a million views and it's like going around on twitter because it's just so absurd like, this is actually insane it's just like weird like it's very weird and strange and these girls look look kind of grown too, so it's kind of like, bro, this is like we're like we're cooked as, as like a society. Like this year, we're like we've been cooked. Like no shade. These kids are over the age of 13 years old. What was going through this man's head when That's he was I'm thinking saying. of this video? Man, 20v1s are getting dead, man. Let's add some children to the mix. Like, bro, what the heck? What's crazy is this man Ew. also added boys to the mix what? to make it seem like Lil RT was there to find friends. When we know the true intentions of this, like I said, this is a children's dating show. This freaky ass cornball <laughs> full of kids to try and riz up Lil nah, RT. Nah, this is, is weird. That not weird? Nah, I yeah, know. Weird. what adults allowed their kids to get on this video i genuinely want to know like this is actually insane yo oh yo 
Oh, ah, yes, this click I saw. Yeah, he's weird. He's weird. Yeah, he's weird. This is a good video, like, though. Bro, just let these this is a good video. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta give, give this man his props, bro. Is yeah, bro. This is a good. This is a good video, dude. He's calling them out, which kids. we Why need. Yes, kids? call them out, dude. It's weird. Shows. That is weird. That's no one else is, is Google, like no one else around him is going to call it out because they all do like the same thing. So someone has to call it out. Especially dude. twenty v ones. I find it so insane how much Lil RT has been used and abused and just exploited through the black community. Y'all need to stop <laughs> using and abusing this kid for your own financial gain and just let him be a child, bro. Why do we need videos of Lil RT? Mm. Don't hate the player, hate the game, dude. Even though to me, every time he's on screen, it's not really entertaining. I don't even find it funny. Especially this one, where like he was trying to help his mom get it. Like that was like, bro, like, this was. RT, what are we doing? Wiping dudes for his mom, or assisting dudes in a twenty v one, or even Lil RT being on a twenty v one. Nobody needs this content. Yeah, What's we crazy really don't. Is, at the end of this Lil RT twenty v one, this man has the audacity to say, "Y'all, let me know what y'all think. Let me know if y'all want to do another one, or y'all just talk to me, chat. Let me know." Man, I just held the latest dating show for children, man. If y'all want another one, make sure to tag your little cousin in the comment section. Tag little Timmy. Tag your little sister. Any kids I want. Why is my mic going off? Want them all. Like, dog, read the room. Nobody wants another little RT 20v1 or another children's dating show. You know this video is bad when this man turned off the entire comment section. Dang! This man probably got tons of hate for this. And I'm not gonna lie, this hate is justified. And if you thought that, that was bad, well, let me tell you that. Bro, I hate to keep pausing, but the only reason why that vid is up is because it makes him money. If... If there was no money involved, he would have been and took this down. It's just for the money, bro. It's just for, uh, uh, yeah, it's just for the money, bro. It even worse. Hey, because he, he got this paid. One with this rapper that goes by Ew. the name of Finesse Two Times. And Never it starts of off as your average 20v1 that you'd see on black YouTube. But then halfway through, Finesse Two Times' son came in with them on the uh. second round. To basically just stick by his father's side while he's talking to these women. And the way that these women and Finesse Two Times talk right in front of this child is actually weird. It, it's it's genuinely disgusting. Play the clip. So after you not, do you stay hard or you get off. That junk is soft. I ain't gonna lie, but I'm gonna go for about forty minutes. Bro. This dude just said after he does it, he gets flaccid. We don't care, bro. Your son is right here. You saw about some flaccid. You get flaccid and stuff. What are you doing? Oh Johnny God. for round two. Bro. You might not take forty minutes with me. Cap. I'm just trying to see what's the freakiest shit a bitch ever did to you. Man, shut like a man. Oh God, it's a bitch from Atlanta. Cause she married now. That's God, a man. I had a bitch with eating that right. Yeah. Man, it be got off this dick, start sucking my toe, cuz. If you spit my mouth right now, you gonna have to leave this on me right though. Since you said when you got out, mess. It be the freakiest girls who just look like dudes. No shade. Well, not all. There's some freak. Uh, you know, man. Nah. Okay, I'm sorry. She look like a. So with some skinny girls. Right. So what, what would you say? Bro, no. what's she wearing? Like, what even is this? What is this? Like Spider Man? What? I don't know why I can't get skinny girls out of my head no more, right? Cause, cause what one time, right? Man, I was hitting the bitch from the front, right? And man, man, she just got the square near where mm -hmm. my head up. I feel so bad for this kid because you from can the front. see it in his face. He's not trying to hear any of that. No child is trying to hear this freaky ass conversation, especially coming from one of his own parents. This man's talking about wow. how he be making girls squirt in front of his son. Bro, when I was young, the only thing I knew that squirted was my squirt gun in the closet. Why is this man talking about how he be making women squirt in front of his son? That's insane. If one of my parents were speaking freaky, these kids are cooked, right bro. In front of me like this, the only option. I'd have these kids are cooked is is not even their fault, dude. It's the parents, dude. Like, yo, like I don't get how you even feel comfortable just saying it around your parents. I was saying this around like your children. Like, it's the weirdest thing. Same with like uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Right. To drive off of a cliff at 30 <laughs> miles per hour in GTA, of course. And if you thought that it's disgusting hearing people talk about these sexual acts during these 20v1s, what about them actually doing these sexual acts? There's literally a 20v1 with the rapper JP, and mid 20v1, this man got that MW3 dome, if you catch my drift. What? Basically, he was just yapping it up with these girls, and this girl was talking about how she's got that Gawk Gawk 3000, you know? It goes crazy. So you ever had... No gag reflex or no? Of course. Yeah. I've had several. 
Oh, I can show you, but I can tell you. And JP basically said that he needed proof of that gawk, gawk right? No So they way. go to the back, and this man starts getting gawked off mid-20 people. What? Number one, this is disgusting, and I feel bad for this woman's parents, future kids, and anybody that associates with her. And number two, the fact that all these grown men are just standing around, eavesdropping, listening to another man. Oh, getting... yeah, you're weird. Okay, yeah, they're weird for listening, dude. Yo, if this is my show, bro, and, and I advise you on here, and then you do this mid show, bro, you, you're you getting kicked out, dude. That's disrespectful, dude. That's disrespectful. Because you're wasting my time. Like, and then you're, gro you're a grown man trying to hear hear it. And then after you hear it, you're just smiling. <laughs> grown, like, yo. His meat slurped up. It's completely odd to me. These dudes literally look like some cheerleaders, bro. They're outside the door, like, oh my gosh, JP, you're really getting your meat slurped <laughs> off right now. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. And if you thought that, that 20v1 was bad, well, it gets even worse because there was also this other 20v1 where this girl literally spit into one of the other contestants' mouths uh, to basically show how freaky she was. That's that's freaky, but it, I, I mean, uh. uh. I don't know. It's, it's bad, but it's not as bad as that. That was kind of crazy. Oh, I don't want to see this. You look. You can do it. You can do it. Please blur it. Blur it. Blur it. Blur it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He liked it. Ew, who was that in the background? Who is this? There's some of the areas where I'm seeing lines. Lord. Oh, no. I'm not even going to smoke him, bro. Yeah. When I tell you that clip almost that clip almost made me throw up. I almost oh my I had to stop myself right there. Seeing that clip, it's it's disgusting. These 20 V1s need to stop. Like when are we gonna wrap these up? I feel like they've had their time, you know? 20 V1s were cool at one point when the sidemen was doing them, when Jubilee was doing them. But do we really Bro, these 20 V1s are going to evolve into something else? Or we're gonna go back to like find your match or like the like the smash or pass lines or find your match or a twenty v one. But truth or dare, it is going to evolve. Is I, I don't think it's going to stop. Continue to make these. You white. I don't know why. I don't know why it's in the it's black community. I don't know why barrel. that can, is. Can we think of something sure. else? I don't know. Oh, wait, we did think of something else. Pop the balloon. If you're yeah, unfamiliar with pop, pop the, balloon. the balloon, basically it's like the new 20 v ones. And how it works is it a evolved. bunch of contestants line up with a balloon in their hand. And each she, round she got a bad no. And if Whoa. a person with the I'm balloon playing. likes you, then they don't pop the balloon. But if they don't like you, she got then a they bad pop the balloon. And... No say she got a bad no. 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 Ew. Ew. They explain why they popped no it. Now, I will say, I did like Pop the Balloon because there are a lot of funny moments in there, like when an ugly dude walks in and the whole room just sounds like the 4th of July. All right, so like, um... Ew, ladies, what is that I thing? Got based off wait, wait, the fuck? Like, that is peak comedy. Or when that one dude who looked like a Ninja Turtle was just cooking all the women <laughs> on there. Your name and age and... What Ew, you know? what is that thing? Brianna, 26... All these women look good and grown. Finally, somebody grown woman like some yeah, some yeah. My eyes are, are up here, baby. Are you looking at the tattoos? No, I, I'm I'm looking at the hair on your arms. Dang. That was pretty funny, you know? There's some pretty funny moments with those. But now, I feel like the format is just becoming way too overused. Why does everything have to involve balloon popping? The other day, I seen a dude playing Pop the Balloon <laughs> in Roblox. And that's not even the craziest part. The craziest part is what? that they got the actual white room in Roblox as well. Like, bro, this That's kind of cool. That's, that's kind of interesting. That's kind of unique. This is getting out of hand, In bro. some weird these way. These white rooms need to be put to an end, dog. Whoever has a hold of these white rooms, they got to start charging more. They got to start charging like an arm and a leg rather than money. Because if I see one more video in a white room, I'm actually going to flip. Especially these blind dates. I seen a dude doing blind dating based off... Ba oh my gosh. I saw this too. Yo, that is so weird. You're basically looking at their baby picture and saying, Ooh, okay. That's what I like right there. Like, that's weird as heck, dude. That is so weird. I saw this as well. That's so weird. 2.8 million views. Like, bro, how?
baby pictures. Is that not weird, bro? Especially coming from these freaky ass channels. That's even weirder. There are so many creative things you can do on YouTube. And you're telling me that blind dating based off baby pictures is the best you can think of? That is insane. What's crazy is this freakiness on black YouTube is also transitioning over to Twitch. And if we is know it? one thing about Twitch, Dang. they could not give a singular F about freakiness on their platform. Twitch would let a woman put jelly beans up her booty hole if it <laughs> meant that they were getting six prime subs by the end of that stream. Twitch could not care less. That being said, a little bit ago, Deshay Frost, a large black content creator, also former actor, was getting that MW3 dome live on stream for content. Was he? Oh my god. She tracing my shit. And what's crazy is, wait, this isn't wait, even this man's first real? time, because he's done it before. Ruby Heat. <laughs> you who? Ruby Heat. Like Miami Heat, Ruby Heat. Ruby. That's your first name? Like all together Ruby Heat? That's my stage name. Stage. What's your real? I want to know your real name. I like really want to get to know you. What's your real name? Bryson. Caitlin. Like the Caitlin. 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 Okay. What the heck? I ain't know that. Game is game, I guess. Shoot. I don't know. Game is game, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Alright, so look, if you was to describe yourself as a Halloween candy, what would you be? Oh, she said, what is it with these dudes getting the dome midstream slash mid recording? Like, is the dome that necessary where you need to get it mid recording session or stream? Like, wh how necessary is the dome? That's all I want to know. <laughs> Yo, can you, that's all, bro. That sounds crazy. Yeah, that sounds insane. let's calm down, now, man. Am I surprised that Deshea Frost is getting dome midstream? Not at all, because this is the same man that made a video about his little sister getting a BBL. And right, also the same crazy. guy who made a video basically acting like he walked in on his mom creating freaky content. And I say acting because the video is obviously fake. Yes, yeah, clickbait. It's clickbait, yeah. Oh wait, no, it's, it's like acting. Yeah, it's acting. Bro, what? Oh, what the fuck is going on, bro? It's agitized pranks. It's like pranks. You told me to come, mom. You told me to come over here. You told me to come over here. You told me to come over here and get some food. Hey, it's still kind of entertaining though. It's still kind of funny and entertaining. So. I feel like the shade should get like a pass a little bit. If you thought that the freakiness so from funny. the shade Diddy stops right there, well, we're just getting started because this freakiness continues. You got this man falling on a woman's butt on stream. Stay up, bro. Oh, you gotta <laughs> what is like is biting on a woman's butt? Whoa. Why are you taking so long? Oh wait, don't bite me hard. Nah, nah, nah. They okay. gonna clip this, but fuck, I'm good for. Oh, that bitch tastes good. You got this All man right. recording a half naked woman running across the street, and then you also got this man forcefully humping a woman on Kai Sinat's stream. Fumble, fumble. Get it, get fumble, it, fumble, fumble, yes, fumble. Yes. What the yes. fuck? She was doing it. First of all, she started it, and then he was just playing around. Bro, I don't think I don't, I don't really think this counts. He's obviously joking, bro. He's just why is this man she was, so freaky? The no, Shea she Frost, was. Wow. You need to be neutered, bro. This man reminds me of one Whoa. of those dogs that just hump everything. Why is this man so horny, bro? This man is the freakiest frog in the pond. If a bag of flour had a BBL, I'm convinced that Deshea Frost is crushing that in a heartbeat. No questions asked. All that being said, I find it insane how us as a black community have stooped to a new low in content creation where we're putting 10 year olds on dating shows, getting dome on stream, and scamming our audiences with a fake cash app in every single video like this is just odd behavior and it's gotta stop what is the point of having little rt on a dating show who is this content even for and why does it have 43,000 likes and also the sexualization of all this content why does it always <laughs> what have the to heck be what's being or censored why does it always have to have these like weird twists like i said there's many phenomenal black content creators out there but the ones that aren't phenomenal literally are just terrible but that's just my thoughts let me know what you guys think in the comment section below all that being said this is gonna wrap up the video if you guys made this far i appreciate you make sure to join the discord link in the description no free plug on here man you can go somewhere else with that but i know that, that that is crazy bro like it is insane to me it is insane like why is it the black community like why can't it be like the like someone else could be like why the blacks like why like why anyways that's the video let me know down below i agree with everything he said he's speaking fast he's talking see you next one man Walk into the party.